Hey, it's Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I am sharing a flip through of my October setup in my B6 Rings planner using the Coco Daisy B6 Rings inserts. This cover is from Print Pression, and I will link it below. Um, so this, this collection or this month features the Autumn Thicket collection from Coco Daisy. Here are the colors from um, the collection. And yeah, some fun, fun new things with the B6 Rings inserts, including a new design, which I'm very excited about. Um, here, look at my cute little pockets. Um, these these are from my stash. I don't actually remember where they came from, but they're just basically pressed leaves that were laminated. Anyway, all right, let's get into it. Um, so I use the back page of the October spread to track um, the blog, the Coco Daisy blog, which I coordinate. And um, here is a look at October so far. Um, something I love about the Coco Daisy inserts is that they're already decorated, so I don't feel the need to do a lot of extra decorating, especially on my um, monthly, which is sort of more a workhorse than anything else. Um, next section is notes. So I used the tabs that came in the planner add-on kit, and then I used um, this stamp set that was from, I believe, the Spice Market planner add-on kit so from a couple months ago and very basic dashboard um, I'm trying to keep my setup sort of minimal this month I just have kind of a lot going on and I just need my setup to like just be chill um, so a note section in the front and then ne um, Next up is my daily to do section. So this has my daily pages and then it also has the week on one page um, as well. So um, the first spread is a monthly kind of things that are going on for the month that I need to be aware of. Um, and then here is what I've, I'm doing with the back of that page. So this is sort of just a, a a, a grid of putting together the blog posts for Coco Daisy. And so I have it all checked. I, I kind of have, there's like different parts of it that need to be uploaded at different times and whatnot. And I need to keep track of that. And then also keeping track of the um, new class from Coco Daisy. Um, they're tracking my hours. I've decided to start tracking my hours in on the week on one from these inserts. And then, then we get into the actual dailies for this week of the 26th through the 2nd. So, um, yeah, this is the week we're on. So I'm, I'm not fully through this week yet. But then what I will do is once I'm done, I will add the week on one on one side and then keep the daily on the other side. I hope that makes sense. Um, next is my weekly section. Um, so again, another pretty basic dashboard. I really loved this paper and I just wanted the paper to sort of stand alone. Um, I call this my schedule because there was not a week, I'm surprised, but there was not like a weekly, um, stamp on here, but that's fine. Um, and here is the new design of the weekly pages. I'm obsessed. I have been using Bess from Lights Planner Actions layout that looks very similar and now I can use the Coco Daisy ones which I'm so excited about. Um, this has been a labor of love for Coco Daisy to create this new design and um, so this is my like main schedule and it's working perfectly. And then in between that, I have my journaling. So previously I was using the horizontal weekly pages from the B6 rings inserts as for journaling. And now I'm using the in-between blank pages. So this week I decided to do a horizontal layout. This was super easy to put together. Um, just made a few lines, added the stickers from the planner add-on kit 
a little stamping cluster. Love it. This is great. Um, then we have the next week. And then this week I will switch it up a little bit and change the sort of journaling boxes. So it's fun to use these open pages for more like bullet journaling and sort of playing with different layouts. And then the following week. And then this was really fun. I used, I trimmed out, let me see if I can find it. Um, I can't find it, but imagine. Okay, so I trimmed out one of the tags from the papers and outlined it around um, on, on the page so that I had tags for each day. I used an older stamp set from Coco Daisy that had weekend so that I could have that all in one place. And then I used the um, tab tag whole reinforcer stickers from the classified memory keeping kit to add the little that little embellishment. I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. And then um, the following week. Still haven't put together this week, but I have some time. And then I wanted to show you, in case you are somebody who maybe really loves the horizontal spread and you are you think, ah, I'm not going to use the, I probably won't use the vertical. Well, you could make the vertical spread into sort of just a running checklist for the week. So in this case, I have a menu plan here, my work items here, content, home, personal, and then a currently spread and um, tracker down here and then like a list a little note for groceries down here this is a wonderful way to use the vertical spread if you are not a vertical planner um, just think of these boxes as lists like places to put lists so just an idea in case you are interested if you really like the b6 rings inserts but you prefer the horizontal you can still definitely keep a horizontal layout like this um, and it's literally just a little line adding the dates you could even use date stickers I wrote them but you could use date stickers and then you could use the um, vertical spread in this way the other thought I had is that if you if you're a journal if you've been journaling with your b6 rings inserts there's nothing saying you can't turn your inserts to the side and journal this way like if you like the longer you know row or column for journaling you can always turn your your inserts to the side and journal this way so um that is my setup and um for my b6 rings i'll just briefly show you what my setup looks like for my Hobonichi, well, it's not Hobonichi Weeks, but it's the new Daisy Weeks insert. I'm very excited about this as well. Um, so Coco Daisy now offers a Daisy Weeks size Dory insert. Um, and the setup is, uh, is, of it is you have the week on one colored pages in the front, and then you have, well, let me go to a totally open blank. Then you have the blank inserts for the rest of the insert. So it's all dot grid. And this is the same for all of the Daisy Dory inserts now. They all look like this. So just as another example, we've got, this is the mini Dory. So again, you have the colored pages in the front. And then it's just open grid just a lovely space to do whatever you want i will be using this one for journaling um, i'm just very very excited about this new format um, and so how i've set up my daisy weeks dory the front section is like messy planning this is just stuff that like i just need to like get in in my planner somewhere and so you know here I'm just chicken scratching items into my planner running list of things that are important for that week that's all at the front of the insert and then 
in the back of the insert or in the next section I do a week on one similar to the Hobonichi weeks layout open grid and then daily pages which is this is what I'm very excited about the daily pages um, so I do that and then combine Saturday and Sunday which works for me and then we go into the next week and then and for each week I have the tab up top to tell me what week I'm on and I'll just show you the whole thing um, again week on one days of the week for the this for this day I just did the weekend on the bottom and then again uh, it's hard to see the the line for this one because it's pretty faint um, but I just love that I can make this layout exactly how I want it to be it's in my it's it's now I'm now in the Daisy Dory inserts which I love I, this paper is my favorite and yeah and then each day I have dailies for so um, I'm very excited about this new setup um, and I love that there's still the illustration but there's plenty of room to you know use the insert and then this is just a blank grid insert but yes so this is my Daisy Dory insert um, which will also be my wallet for the month and so that's it so that's um, what I wanted to share today um, if you have any questions uh, of course leave them below and I will get back to you and thanks so much and I'll see you in my next video bye oh sorry one more thing this cover is also from print impression print pression so I will leave it below as well okay bye <laughs>